Welcome back to the Balance Radio Entertainment. Now we get a very, very kajad guest in the building. As I look at him, I say, are you married? And he said, no, I'm a very young man. But me too, I'm a very, very young man. A very young, charming looking uh, young doctor within the building. And the TV will follow us talk about something today. Very, very serious. For I say, we both Nigeria, particularly in the rural areas. Now we know, say, uh, which we both they call maternal mortality rate. That's the way women, they die when they get belly during the pregnancy period or from the complications. For example, in Nigeria, it's still high. We never bring them down to the way with World Health Organization say make we bring them. Now they get some people uh, we be say them being they, they call themselves Safer Hands Health Initiative, and now this particular one that they don't carry commit us. So join us as we welcome Dr. Ojo Roland or Dr. Roland Ojo in the studio this morning. Good morning, Dr. Ojo. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing now? I did very very well. Although I did cough, oh, I'm at this knees. So after this one, I go follow you go to your hospital. May you treat me. I know you are one. You know charge me plenty. I know I don't go charge. I know they charge you too much. All right. Now first of all, we would like to ask. Um, tell us a little bit about the Safer Hands Health Initiative. We I don't put together. Okay. So Safer Hands Health Initiative na na non government organization where we don't register for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We they we they work for we they work to imp improve maternal health. Mm -hmm. And child death because we understand say a lot of women they die from preventable things a lot of preventable actions where where they kill women and uh, even WHO and don't set them say waiting they kill us now majorly preventable and say make with the work make with the work so with the work to increase access mm. with the work with uh, rural community health workers with the work with traditional bed attendants with the local areas we they try to train them because we know say that they always take delivery of a lot of things and they are prone to uh, complications. So we they try to train them. We they try to prevent, say, woman. Say, Belen will be something we're supposed to kill any woman. Say, Belen are normal thing where you're supposed to get and you deliver your baby. So we the aim, say, both healthy mother and healthy baby alive. So now waiting our own aim be that. So, and we they keep on working, working, working to ensure say, that won't happen. This one a very, very lovely thing that they do. Now, the Safer Hands Health Initiative, when will have been start this uh, organization? Uh, we've been start Safer Hands Health Initiative, we'll be, we've been start uh, August 2017. Mm -hmm. And we don't they do activities, do activities, do activities, because we get a team of uh, team members, we'll be youths. we put up ourselves together, we talk, say, we don't want this. So we, we've been get uh, several medical doctors and several healthcare professionals, where they're amongst us. We'll be say, whenever we they carry our business, go any of these places, and whenever we they do events, we, go, we they aim at uh, reducing all these complications that, that I don't talk before. Mm -hmm. So we they try, we they move ourselves together. So we started in August 2017. Mm -hmm. And since then, we don't they move on, we don't they reach out, we don't they help to improve betting practices, we don't they help to prevent the complications. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying that for only, only inside Lagos, not there. Ah, Lagos, Lagos, no, in the Southwest we did now. Okay. Well, in the Southwest we did, because even Lagos, no, Lagos, Lagos been get a lot of rural communities, but. Lagos still be urban and uh, Lagos being get urban and peri urban areas. And we majorly understand that rural areas in the country now ain't get most of this problem pass. Mm -hmm. Because before you go work out for Lagos, before you go work out two, three kilometers, you go at least see an hospital. Except say you do all the riverine areas and everything. But in uh, some major communities in southwest Nigeria, where we talk about all the Ogun states, Ekiti states, Oshun states, we know say a lot of them they inside villages. Mm -hmm. We know say before they go even think say they go see hospital, they go need waka waka waka. So we they move to them, we they work with them because we know say rural community members now ain't get most of the problems pass mm. and because mm. we they, yes say so now them now them they been get the problem for these problems where we they solve pass because mm. we know say at least we they here for if anything happens hospital no too far from a lot of us for the Lagos yeah, true. so we they move on to rural communities where we say we know say they go take stress before they go even reach a, a, a basic health center. Okay, that's nice. Now, maternity, breaking barrier for safe uh, motherhood. Now, the thing where I notice, we say, uh, just like the other day we've been getting the Yoga of Architects uh, Forum for inside our studio here, I mean, as I say, I know say we have be architects, uh, you know, architects, builders, constructors, and all of that. It good maybe we employ their their services so that their houses no go collapse, no go get wala, but their services they a bit expensive. So people they always employ the services of the quacks or the artisans, make I put it that way. So I mean, ask and say, how them will be professionals? They take accommodate these artisans so that for people who know if you afford now, maybe if you afford the artisans, at least the artisans if you do something close to perfection for them. Now the same question I want to bring come your side. Now the truth is say healthcare that's something where everybody's supposed to get access to, especially uh, when we are talking about you know motherhood, maternity uh, issues and stuff. But as you don't rightly mention, we get all these midwives 
for all the small, small villages, where we say people don't get access to big hospitals. Which one are they do for these midwives, where we say many of these people for villages? Now, their first point of call when they get below, they want to deliver. So, definitely no get access to go better hospital. Which one are they do with or for these midwives? So that if people go meet them, or at least, even if they don't get the kind of professional care where they will get from you, they'll get something close to that from the midwives. Okay. So, what thing would they do for them? We say, we they first, first of all, identify them, train mm. them. Because you understand, say, training process, an important thing. So, we do occasional training programs for them. Because we want to make them understand how to quickly look look at a person and look at belly like this and know say that this kind of belly go get complications. Most belly's go come on their own. Mm. Go come and go 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 through the process of labor and you go deliver. But you get some kind of belly where we say they hold complications. And at those belly where all those complications where they preventable. Now those ones they even cause add to the maternal mortality where you don't talk that time. Mm. So we they train them. Now we train them on identifying identifying uh, complications, and most importantly, we know say the major problem where the cause and everything will happen. Now say you guys know your limits because understanding say oh, now this kind of problem they come with this. I know fear and for where I did like this. I guys call a uh, health center. I guys move this patient to a center. So all those things you guys know say now your limits with this. And again, we they try channel them. We they try create a referral system. We be say. We we'll say you know go turn to when even the problems start to they come during the process of the of the delivery mm -hmm. where you go can start to they move to the hospital because it go down even too late by that time. So we they try we they try link up we they try link up a uh, healthcare healthcare a uh, uh, proximal healthcare centers where they close to them mm -hmm. so that they go it go get as they go take synergistically work together and they go make any complications. So we they train them and we they provide basic uh, sterile delivery kits for them mm -hmm. because this because. These kits now something where we say either anywhere where you they take work, anywhere you they take work, either now inside bush, either now at least that small small kits, but at least they can pro they can provide a, some some sort of hygiene mm. for for every delivery that you can go through. Okay. So we train them and we sort of empower them. Yeah. So we still we still we are working gradually gradually based on say uh, most of the things where we actually need. So we no get access to them, but with the little way we they take do currently. We are trying to improve uh, the current practices. Yeah, sense. Now, very, very quickly, I would like to ask you, um, as I always ask most people when they run non-government organizations, we know, say, one basic challenge where they always get enough funding. Mm -hmm. So how until they get enough funding? Uh, as we did now, since when we don't start, as we don't start, we've been getting, uh, we've been getting startup funds because we've been getting access to go, we've been getting access to go to one, one conference for New York where mm -hmm. give us funds, where we take starts. And since when we don't start, they even do our work. We've been don't uh, we've been don't reach out to organizations like ours too, where where they share in our similar goals and objectives. And this uh, a lot of organizations too have been turning up for us when we have activities. So we we currently now we've been get partnership with uh, Betting Kids Foundation Australia. With them, they provide us with kits. If they, we just need to request from them based on the partnership that we have. Mm. And because of that, we still they reach out to major or uh, uh, major organizations that share in our, in our uh, objectives. Because now even part of that, we go make me even talk about the maternal health uh, summit where we get tomorrow. Okay. Where we get maternal health summit tomorrow. Because tomorrow is International Day for Maternal Health and Rights. Mm. So now why based on, the, based on the things that we've seen in our community health projects, so now why would they even bring would they bring uh, uh, people with the maternal health space together? Would they bring them a sort of think tank? We know the government they do a lot, and now why we say we still they we still they we they bring people together with the maternal maternal space so that we can even still think about problems. We can still provide more solutions and uh, to the ones with government they do because they get some some other things where we say private government. Uh, Got a private and government partnership. Mm -hmm. Now go make solve the solution for maternal mortality. Okay. So now why would they even hold the maternal summit where you get tomorrow? All right. I know say sadly, I know to get time, but I'd like me quickly tell us when and where this maternal health summit go hold and who they invited to the maternal health okay, summit. Okay, so so we tomorrow we they we they hold the maternal summit for the Edges place all. It's day inside loot for the Arabas rule in Lagos. Okay. So people we and uh, it go start by ten a.m. Mm -hmm. and then uh, people we because we People where they invited now, stakeholders in maternal health and uh, individuals, media persons, and any other person in, in, um, interested. Because maternal health, as we go talk, um, now something will be say concern all of us. Now, mama, when I want mama bonus for any uh, one so, some place. So mm -hmm. now something will be say all of us guys come together because if person not close to you, you no go know about this problem where we they talk now. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, so it be. So it be. All right. Finally, before I let you go, I would just like you let, tell us in case you get midwives or people where they are, they where they try reach you now for safer hands, safer hands health initiative. How do you take reach you now? Uh, so we know say as the day now, not be everybody go get internet. As the people where we work with, most of mm -hmm. them they get internet problem at least. But for phone number, mm -hmm. where we say we know say at least it go be for front line. Mm -hmm. Our number now o eight one 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 five one twenty nineteen. Okay. 08-111-1-1-2019. Oh, one, 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 Let's not pick the number where we're at. <laughs> I know we won't ask you which network <laughs> that one because it's not be like Nigeria number. <laughs> no, no, no Nigeria right. number, but we try to make them simple so that mm. anybody, even if you know, because we know say number, number will be problem, mm. so that you go even just know them. So that whenever you want contact us, it go they very very easy for you. But but on, on Instagram, on Twitter. Okay, well we are on Instagram too. We we are Safer Hands Initiative on Instagram. Okay. Just straight up Safer, Safer Hands, Hands Initiative, Initiative on Instagram. On, yeah, on, Instagram. Mm. on uh on uh, Facebook we are mm. Safer Hands Health Initiative okay. on Facebook. All right. And um, on Twitter we are Safer underscore Hands. Uh, Safer underscore yes. Hands. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Roland thank Ojo you very of much Safer Hands us. Health thank Initiative. And we don't talk about maternity breaking barrier for safer motherhood. Thank you so much that you join us. Thank you very much. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.